I did not hear anything about that about that rumor whatsoever. It must have just been a right. yeah, that's, either. <laughs> the first time. That's something that was going around. I just, I just wanted to hear they have that because um, no. <laughs> no, that was not an accident. It was a straight coincidence. That was yeah. a straight coincidence. I just pulled from the bowl. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just not my day. No, you just <laughs> it on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right. But you guys hey, keep you know, discussing whatever, that for a minute. I mean, you, know, to, to you guys keep discussing that for two minutes. Um, I'll be right back. And you guys hear. Oh, that's helpful. Oh <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank this you. Is Chasey. I, I guess I have to stop coloring now. I'm a little coloring book. <laughs> so I guess keep chatting on the same <laughs> subject. You sure you don't mean to read in the next subject? Here, the next subject. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading sorry. the next subject. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah we're I don't moving know on. What that means. Oh, the yeah. next subject. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. Okay. Okay, your thoughts on the union? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so Bella was first, right? I hate the union. The union's my pimp. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wow. I, I'm, here, I'm here with someone else who uh, is union, and he just lost his head off when I said that. The union is my pimp, my daddy. Hell yeah. And we have a lot more than three kids. Wait, where do we go? Uh, Woohoo. What? And they're all happy. They're all happy, mind you. Right? They're very happy children. And I still can't get your name right. The, the gentleman with us tonight, firm. we're going to have to just call you V, okay? Hey, V man. <laughs> Vargas, right? Like, what's his name? V-A-R-G-A-S, Vargas? Vargas. Vargas. We just call you Big V. <laughs> and you just call you Big right? V. How's that? Are you Portuguese? No, I'm Mexican. Oh, okay. So we could we'll right. call you Big V. Vargas. Okay, Big V. <laughs> what's your thoughts on the union? Have you heard anything uh, about it? Yes, I have actually. Um, I think it's great. Uh, actually, it's just pretty much just get everybody together and move and start pushing forward and making it bigger. So you think it's a positive thing? Yeah, it's a positive. Yeah, it's po always a positive, you know? Always a positive. Everything's always a positive unless it's, uh, pretty much putting it down. So on, this, on, this, on the union thing, it's great. I think it's, 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 it's something that's going to be big. Heck Yeah. <laughs> Big dreamers, right? I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just wondering why is it so, why is it taking off so slowly? Well, because, Thank well, you. because, well, first of all, we're all entertainers in our background. We're not union reps. So as we're going, we're learning and we're trying to do things correctly as we go. So we're going slowly, one step at a time, so we do it correctly. Okay. And being fought. I see, I see. So we don't have that union background, but we're learning as quickly as we can. That's great, that's great. Does that make sense? Well, I'm with you. I'm in. And so we have people that are teaching us in the background that are our union reps, but everything to end, no. you know what? The state doesn't do anything fast. <laughs> yeah, the exactly government that. is the slowest processing in the world, I think, is the government. So we have to go through these government oh. processing paperwork constantly, oh, and it just are, takes are forever. Are we in the process? What? Say it again? Are we entertainers? Can we speed up the process? We already we really know they come and see us on the weekend. <laughs> the poverty. Well, I didn't understand what you said. I said the politics always come and see us on the weekend. Can we speed up the process on it? <laughs> yeah, we're trying to speed it up. Yeah, if you, to speed it up, I guess that's kind of our next question. So we'll hit that one on the next question. <laughs> All right. You're doing good. Hey Beth, what's your thoughts on the union as the union president? <laughs> um, I think it's um, I think it like Vargas said, it's kind of moving on slow. So you kind of like um, um I don't know, but I think it's a, I think it's a positive, great thing, and I, I think it would like um really like start to uh, work for itself. <clears throat> I know that there's people out here that could really use it. Yes. And I think there's lots of people. Like, I, lots of people. Because there's people that 
I'm just going to repeat you because if we've talked a million times. I know that you said once there's people out here that you know that are trying to go to work and can't afford a babysitter and don't know what to do. Yes, they can't afford medical, they can't afford babysitters, they can't afford things. And sometimes people think the dancers make so much money all the time, and it's not true. Like, there's so many dancers at night in one club, I'm talking from the dancer part, and um, say there's like um, 10 girls working one club, and there's three stages, mm -hmm. you know? How many times do you think those girls are going to go up at night from 9 o'clock till 2 in the morning? Mm -hmm. And how much do you think they're going to make? You know? It just depends, and it's just, and sometimes it's hard when you're paying the DJ and the bartenders mm -hmm. and, the, yeah. you know, the door guy mm -hmm. and a driver, and then you come home with not a lot of money, and then you got to pay your babysitters, and you don't have money for medical or yeah, what, um, what just feeding everything, you know? It's hard. They need medical. They need they need help. They need to know that there's somebody that, that will help them. Very good, Beth. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Chasey Lane, what's your thoughts on the oh union? My goodness, on the union, I think it's a good time. She's right. She's right. Um, there. I mean, sometimes was it even worth going to work? It costs more to go to work than it did to work. I agree with what she said. And I think it's a good thing. People need to stop being so resistant. <laughs> I think um, this union. I don't think that people need to keep in mind that this union is made for the workers, to the workers, from the workers. And everyone's just taking perspective that we already know what the hell we're doing. And we just know that we know what's right in our heart. And that we know what we need to fix. And by knowing what's right in our heart and knowing what's right, what we need to fix, we will eventually fix those things. But we can't do it alone. We need to band together to do it. So, yay. <laughs> in the world... You? Huh? Uni, the Latin root, uni, unite. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Not hard, people. Y'all do the same thing. They're still talking to me. Yeah, we're all doing the same thing. We all put our genes on the same way. There's nobody better than the rest. And we can fix a lot of our issues. And if you think your work can be better, or if you think this is the best that this industry gets, you're wrong. Because it could be done a lot better. I think people look more at the way it used to be, and they lament the slide. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think anyone really comes into the industry thinking they're going to make a ton of money anymore. Mm -hmm. But the money that but, you but do make... possible. So, like, it's easier and it's easier if we get the conditions that, that make that possible, and we can't do that alone. None of us can. Nope. It's not be done. To, the power in the union is the power of the people. The more people we have band together, the more powerful we become. And we are becoming more powerful every day. So, yeah, go so fuck up. Maybe we got some paperwork on or something. Like, really? Censorship. Censorship. <laughs> yeah, right, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, if, that's, if those are the criticisms that, that people lob at us, that's the best they can do. And they're obviously afraid of just the concept of people uniting. And, you know, that's a, that's a problem because... It doesn't necessarily mean that anyone's going to be put out by this. It just means that now the representation is a little more clear and the channels of communications are a little more clear. So, you know what? Let's negotiate. This doesn't have to be ever serial. Oh, Lord. Where's the next question? <laughs> Let's see. What's happening? Uh, no, it's me on my next level shit again. I'm sorry. I'm still going to do it. It's more this week. <laughs> Which one? Okay, hold on. I'm looking for the questions. Okay. Oh, yeah. That, was, that one's terrible, Keisha. What did I do? Oh, no. I had to let my dog this out. This one, no, I was reading. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's stay on the union subject for a minute because sure? we haven't done that yet. Oh, okay. So I think a lot of people's issues, only because this is sponsored by the union, uh, only because this is sponsored by the union, we're going to stick on this union subject just for a little bit longer, if that's okay with you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So it's okay. <laughs> um, I, think, I, I think... I don't understand what everybody's afraid of. It, well, they're afraid of like, things they really? don't understand. And what they don't understand is yeah. we're not here to attack you. Okay, so maybe we might ask for health insurance. Big whoopee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can't take a yeah, percentage that. out of your income that you make off thousands and thousands of dollars off of our own asses, that we put our asses online, and that we put our life online for you to make those dollars. You can't 
at least give us health insurance? I don't think that's asking too much. And it wouldn't put out these companies too much to do that. Yeah. yeah. And it's, we deserve it. Well, they, Even if we're temporary well, employees. Well, well, our insurance options, the union itself, we provide insurance options, and, and we can work with studios, you know, if, if they want to, if they want to set that up. Yeah, it, it should be. It doesn't have to be a clear sponsor, uh, although it should be. But if people want access to it, all the all the employers need to do, the studios need to do, producers need to do, is get that information from us. Um, what we're afraid of is that to get the discounts that we get on those benefits. They have to become union members. So I think for them, it's a, it's a bit of a conflict of interest. Well, the way that if you do the insurance through the union, what's really cool about that is you can be multi-employed. So you can be a stripper one day, an escort one day. You can be a, exactly. a pornographer, a a performer for one day. And no matter what, your health insurance goes with you, no matter which job you're at. And we're trying to set up where you can put some money into a great retirement fund because we're grouped. And you get group benefits, which are better than individual yeah. benefits. So no matter where you go, you can pay into what you want to into your retirement. And you get to pay into your insurance the way you want to pay into your insurance. And it follows you no matter where you're at for how long ever you want to. So that's a really good thing. Because most times when you get your insurance, it's just for that employer. And if you're not working for that employee then that percentage doesn't go into your pay or it doesn't go towards your insurance. Well, this program is going to be done a little bit more differently so you can hold your own. So that's what's taking a little bit longer. We're trying to change the thing, the way the things are done. <laughs> and it's hard because the people are, are used to things a certain way. Companies in the world, even insurance companies, they're like, well, it doesn't work that way. Well, why not? It doesn't I work mean, that way because you don't let it. So let's change it so it does. Isn't, isn't everybody supposed to have insurance anyways? I mean, isn't that the new, uh, or you have to pay some big fine, right? right? You have to pay a fine, but yep. the insurance that okay, the government well, gives you is not good yeah. insurance. I mean, it's limited. I know, but, but you have to have insurance or you have to pay a fine. A $600 a year fine. It doesn't matter. You're still having to, so by having insurance in the union, is offering them something that they can, you know, to use. Not like a right. right. You're going to pay one way or another. Might as well get health insurance. Might as well support the union and do it for less. Exactly. And do it for less. Yeah. So either you're going to pay six hundred dollars minimum, regardless. So you might as well get health insurance. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to. Don't just pay to the insurance company what you do for a living or any of that bullshit because they already know and they don't care. Mm -hmm. I just bought the accident health, uh, the accident insurance plans. I bought it for me, my husband, and my daughter. So for sixty dollars a month, yes, there is a down payment of a hundred and something. I think I forgot what it was, but for sixty dollars a month, if we break a leg or we get in a car accident or we walk into a wall and bump our head and decide we can't work that day, <laughs> we get five hundred dollars a week. That's two thousand dollars a month not to work. I want that. It's temporary accidental insurance, and which makes this insurance very cool is there's no health questions. We we got rid of that. It's sixty dollars a month gives you two thousand a month. The down payment I think it's double that. So I think for sixty it's one hundred and twenty. I think. Don't quote me on that. That's still really good. Yeah. Yeah. So you know that's through the union, right? Yeah, so it, what we did was we eliminated health questions and we eliminated employment questions. Because most of the times you cannot get any kind of insurance without employment questions and out without health and questions. And what we did, we made a bargain with these people to eliminate that. So we don't have to answer those questions. We don't have to tell you how much money we make. We don't have to tell you what kind of health condition we're in. You just sign up, pay it, and done. Bye. Huh? By the way, camp insurance provider here. I'm not out of the woods. I haven't passed my five years yet. I can get insurance. Yes, you can. Yeah. Because we bypassed the insurance. We said, well, we don't want to tell you how healthy we are, and we damn sure don't want to tell you what we do for a living. <laughs> so coming from us, you know that we're halfway healthy or we wouldn't be working. Duh. <laughs> and you already know what we do for a living, and we don't want to have to answer that question. <laughs> so we've eliminated those two. And those are two 
herps or hurdles are the biggest things for us to get over when we go to apply for things like health insurance and 